for you. You need a big half, so you need a big wagon. The, um, the trailer splits in two, so it goes dead low to the floor. There's a fifth wheel that you don't know have, and then splits off. going on now for the second time now we wasn't long enough the first time we loaded it so we loaded it back again it's a bit complicated though because you've got to put the wheels out wide to clear the first bit of the ramp but then pull them narrow to fit on the outriggers of the trailer it's 90 foot long this now so it's getting out of the gate Your pickup in the way now. Easy. Adam just got back from doing another field of oil seed rate. Right? So we'll put that drill in the shed now and get the baler on. Another batch of wheat just going through the dryer there now. And then this is what it looks like when it comes out. So it just discharges it out of that chute into the shed here. So this is now now all dried it's actually quite plump to be fair this year so because it was thin and then it got plenty of water and heat so it's uh, plump grains just not a lot of them just fill it up with diesel which is what we do every day it takes about a thousand liters a day um, the radiator is quite clogged and the engine bay is quite dusty so I'll get the airline which plugs into here it has its own compressor and I'll blow it all down stops any fires and keeps the engine running cooler especially on hot days hurry up Joe hey, just, just cruising back on the wheat now doing about 16 and a half acres an hour it's uh, pretty quick but it's only because it's uh, the season and it's not yielding the best covering the ground and not using a lot of diesel. GPS is acting up a little bit at the moment. You have to turn it on and off, which is slightly annoying. So we're using a laser pilot on the end of the head of the that little grey box there. That's reading the edge of the crop. Two little eyeballs do that. So that's uh, keeping us in a straight line. Tightening onto the end of this video. Tank 7 full, that's what that big was. 